Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Again, excited to share with you guys another awesome holster by Kraft Leather Holsters. Uh, so, Kraft, uh, I, I got to tell you, I, it, it, I'm ecstatic. You can see the just natural smile on my face when I talk about Kraft. Uh, it's, I got to tell you, of all the things I reviewed on this channel, thousands, I don't know, hundreds, thousands of different products, I, I, um, I, I'm just blown away with the customer service of this place. I mean, uh, they just really knocked it out of the park. I mean, everything that they've sent me to share on the channel uh, it has been, I mean, amazing quality. And, and the thing is, even when, you know, they have so many different holsters that, you know, there are some issues like we had with the G2C holster, right? They remade the thing twice. I mean, three. any other company would turn around and probably just be like, hey, well, let's move on. You know, they really wanted to make sure even though I was even, I didn't even buy this. Although, you know, when I review something, I mean, you know, I, I am, in a case like this, I am not charging the company a review fee in order to, to and it depends on every company, right? You know, I'm very transparent with this, right? But, you know, ultimately, you know, I, I'm, I'm inv investing my time in the company and it benefits my channel, of course, and it benefits me because I get to get awesome holsters, right, for my guns that I buy. Um, but, you know, a lot of companies I can tell you that will just be like, hey, you know what, let's move on to something else. Like, even though I didn't pay for this, they still wanted to make sure that I got a proper holster. Three of them. I mean, and so it's just it's just incredible to me. I mean, I even said, hey, don't worry about it, let's move on, you know. And they were still like, no, they, we want to get it right. And, you know, it, this is the kind of service that you just don't find in a lot of companies nowadays. So this holster is, I mean, this is one that I'm going to request again as I get more guns in my collection. Uh, I love this holster. So this is the holster for my Taurus Spectrum. Um, I wanted, uh, and I'm going to get to it, I wanted a holster, and I'm, let me just show you right now so I can keep your attention, right? So let me just uh, get situated here. So you can see when I show you, here it is right here. So, I mean, a super, super discreet holster. Uh, and you can see by the type of clothing that I wear, uh, you know, I generally wear things fitted, you know, and uh, let me pop this out of my, since we're going to be talking about this, I generally wear clothing fitted, and for me to carry a gun around with fitted clothing, you know, a lot of times it's really hard to be discreet about it, you know, and that's why a lot of times I prefer open carry for a lot of my, uh, you know, or like outside the waistband, I should say, for a lot of my larger frame guns, and I got this gun because I wanted something extremely discreet that was extremely comfortable that I could honestly just wear all the time, around the house, sitting on the couch, nothing pinching me, nothing digging when I'm gonna drive. You know, I kind of consider this my gun to get to another gun. Now I know, again, I never wanna come across on this channel as the guy talking about what you would do or what I would do because ultimately, and I stand I stand firm on my opinions on, on you know uh, horrible situations, that you never really know how you're gonna react. And the only real way to know how you're gonna react or to help I guess uh, determine how you're going to react in any combat situation, any given you know life-threatening situation is practice, 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 training, repetition over and over, and being in that situation over and over again. That's like anything in life, you know. Uh, I, it makes me want to laugh when I hear guys do reviews about firearms and talk about oh what you want to do in this situation, home defense. It's like shut up, like. That, the odds of something happening to you where you need a firearm, again, depending on where you live, are pretty slim. It's those rare occasions that something might crop up where you're going to be happy you have it. And that's what's annoying about everyday carry is that it is something that you have to, like your wallet. It's just something you bring with you almost everywhere you go. And for me, I would like, again, I don't want to come across as having this all figured out, but to me, God forbid I should have to need a firearm. I, you know, having something that's very easy to carry is, you know, uh, it's going to be easier for me to bring it with me everywhere I go and not be like, oh man, I got this thing, it's digging in, I got to drive with it. This gun is just perfect for everyday carry. Yeah, you know, you don't have 17 rounds out of it, I get it. And I'm, you know, I don't want to make this about you know what I would do or what you should do or anything like that. For me personally, me, ha creating habits out of things they have to be easy to obtain, right? So when you when you know set goals, you start with obtainable goals to keep you moving forward, right? When uh, just like when you know people are like I'm on this big crazy diet, it, you have to do things that are going to be easily obtainable. And of course, and this is my opinion on how I do things, right? And 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 setting goals that are again obtainable, but also things that are going to be easy, you know. Um, for instance, just very very stupid thing to say, like 
using a water pick, right, for your teeth, very beneficial. If I have to use my water pick in front of my sink every single day, um, it's never going to happen. It's too much of an inconvenience. You want it, to make things convenient. You want to integrate them into your normal behavior. And so when I like, I know this is about guns, but when I use a water pick, because my water pick and a lot of them are uh, not the pitch of water pick here, but wet, uh, water resistant, I can do it in the shower. So it gets done every single day now. Uh, now, if it was not in the shower, not weather, not water resistant, and I couldn't do that, it was probably something that I would have a hard time uh, integrating into my routine, right? So that's the thing with, with everyday carry is having it for me personally be comfortable and be very easy and not be something that's annoying me all the time in order to have it uh, on me all the time, right? So that's why I chose the Taurus Spectrum. Let me go ahead and, and again, I shouldn't even have to do this, but for the guys who, you know, want to tell me that I'm not being safe and you know even though a lot of times I'll have a gun you know doing a review and it's a completely empty if you don't see me do it and clear the chamber with showing it's an empty gun somebody wants to try to educate me so anyway and it's and, and there's nothing wrong with gun absolutely gun safety is uh absolutely uh number one but common sense you know anyway so moving on so anyway chose this gun super compact i love the fact that it's so round uh you don't even feel this i could be laying on the couch and you just don't feel it inside the waistband and again my buddy i mentioned a few times he's a very skinny guy about 120 pounds my height uh he carries a 1911 with him but he wears larger baggier clothing so he's always got room for it and he he does it with no problems for me i can't stand carrying a gun anywhere on the front it just interferes not just with my social agenda, but it just it's it's in the way. All joking aside, so this is great. I, that's why I prefer to carry a gun. Uh, and again, if I'm gonna be on my feet, that might be a different situation. But sitting, stealing, you know, kneeling, getting in and out of the car, this works great for me. Uh, and so I chose there. This one is there. Let me just get it right here. The Tuckwell IWB holster. Uh, now, obviously, for a gun this small, it's gonna be smaller, but. Uh, I like this holster so much, I really want to get my hands on another one of some of my other firearms, for my Taurus G2C. Um, it fits great. It doesn't fall out. You know, there's no tension screws on it. It just fits perfect. It's got one belt loop, and this is what I really like about this as well. Uh, there's no clip. This is very easy to pop this inside your waistband. Um, and then run this right around your belt. It's secure, it's not gonna fall out, and it's extremely comfortable. Um, you can see here, hopefully you can see, I got the cat monogrammed on there. That is an additional $9 charge if you want to do that. Uh, it, you know, it's I, I like it, personalizes it. Um, um, th that's about it, guys. I mean, there's really not too much else to say about it. No tension screws, no nothing. Very easy to pull out, very easy to put in. It stays in there securely. It fits the gun perfectly. Um, it is a fantastic... Uh, fantastic holster uh, for everyday carry. I mean, this is something that it's so small. Uh, and, you know, you can get this holster for several different variations. Again, I would like to get it for the Taurus G2C. Obviously, for this gun, because it's such a small gun, uh, you know, it's going to be super, super comfortable. A larger gun is going to take up more room, but it's a great holster. I mean, the, the quality of the leather, uh, like any of the craft holsters I've reviewed in the past, the quality of the holster is amazing, uh, and the fit on this is absolutely perfect. I mean, this is definitely something uh, that's been tested and been refined, and I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, so it is available in two different color variations, left or right hand. Um, you can get it for many different, probably most firearms. Uh, Monogram is $9. Um, and a little bit, doesn't really say too much about it on the website. You know, um, a lot of this stuff is pretty much common sense, but it does say here um, that it is premium Italian leather. I mentioned that in other, other videos, but it's an open muzzle design, I believe on this one here it is. Uh, premium Italian leather with a lacquered finish, custom glove-like fit. Uh, it is a handmade product. They do have a five-year warranty, and some of the holsters, depending on which one you choose and which gun you get it for, is going to be uh, most likely made by Falco on behalf of Craft Holster. So uh, it's great they put their name on it. They're putting their reputation in line with it, and they have a lot of different variations. I mean, uh, like I said, guys, um, it is absolutely just a fantastic holster for everyday carry. I mean, when I'm wearing this, I just don't even feel like I have it. And that's what makes it so easy to carry this every single day. Um, so it will, it will, I also want to mention, it'll take a belt up to 1.5 inches, which they also have belts on their, uh, on their channel, which I requested one because, you know, a lot of times the belts I wear, they're a little bit thinner. They're more of like, you know, dress style. Uh, and the belt I'm wearing is a, is a, um, who makes this one? Um, not Anson, what's the other company I worked with? Uh, 
I'm drawing a blank on. Anyway, it's one of the ratcheting belts. Super comfortable. I love ratcheting belts. Uh, however, you know, it doesn't have, it's not really rigid on the particular one that I normally wear. So, um, you know, so when you're wearing a, something like this, it's nice to get a nice solid grip around a belt that's pretty rigid. I think that um, a lot of the holsters that I have through Craft will fit even better with one of their belts. And I encourage you, if you do want to get one of these, um, is to order one of the belts as well. You know, everyday carry, um, you know, yeah, you can use the belt you have. I totally get that. But I feel like everyday carry is something you're going to be you doing every single day when you get in the habit of, and as long as you get something comfortable you like and you get in the habit of doing that every single day, you grab your wallet, grab your keys. You know, I hate using the the YouTube for, the YouTube. Uh, uh, term EDC or everyday carry. All these guys doing videos about <laughs> what they carry every day. I'm just like, nobody cares. I'm just kidding. Some people do care. But anyway, all joking aside, um, you know, it is nice to have a solid belt if you're going to be carrying a larger frame gun. Uh, and they look pretty nice quality. I, I didn't even really think about it until I saw one of their videos. And I was like, man, that is a good looking belt. And it looks really nice. So uh, pretty cool. Hopefully they sent me that and I can share that with you guys on the channel as well. Again, link is in the description to their website. Check, check them out. And again, with a company like this, what, what, what really stands out with them, and I said it before in other videos and I'll say it again, is their customer service their 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 desire to really take care of the customer. Uh, if you have a problem with them, you're not. I, I can't tell you the number of times I've heard stories of people saying I have a problem with this seller. I have a problem here, and I nobody gets a hold. Nobody will get back to me. Right? Uh, with with a company like this, you know, and a lot of times what will happen just to let you guys know, if it's a company that I've reviewed their product and they're having an issue, I will help to get that problem resolved. Uh, you know. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching the channel, and I recommend these products. And you know, it's, it is sometimes different when I have a, a direct contact at a company. I can, I'm not saying I have more pull, like, but uh, you know, it, it is something that if you have a problem, I can, you know, hopefully assist you in getting it taken care of. With craft, I mean, I don't even have to ask. You know, I mean, I have an issue, and they're like, my guy is all over this, you know. And so that's kind of their, you know, their attitude with how they how they run their company, how they take care of the customers. So um, overall, again, the products are amazing. Um, I think the value, speaking of value, when we look at the price on this here, you're looking at 69 bucks. I mean, it's pretty good for a, a genuine, solid, high quality leather holster. Uh, and I believe that's $69, even if you get it for a full frame um, firearm. Drawing a blank here. <laughs> anyway, guys, so uh, they do have 192 customer reviews. Again, I always take that with a grain of salt because I don't know where those reviews come from. Uh, I don't know, you know, a lot. I'm not saying this. I have, I don't know, but a lot of times when it comes to reviews, I generally only trust outside reviews. So when you guys watch me, I'm an outside source. Although I am getting free holsters from Craft. Of course, you have to have a little bit of rapport with me to know that I'm completely raw, no filter, unedited, that I would, you know, be honest with you guys at all costs. Uh, but that's that's how trust works. It takes time to build that. So with a company like this, um, I can assure you that the quality is there, the price is right, and you'll be happy with their brand. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions. Again, subscribe to the channel. Click the link in the description. Check out what they offer. If I can assist you in any way, I'm more than happy. A lot of times, keep in mind, too, if you are looking, there's so many guns coming out of Turkey now. There's a lot of guns that they, they don't have holsters for. So in my case, the next holster coming is going to be for um, a Taurus 92, or, sorry, not, not a Taurus, a Beretta 92 uh, clone I'm getting. I'm not going to tell you which one. It's going to be dope. I can't wait. A couple weeks. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna request a couple holsters from them for a Beretta. Which one is it? I'm already drawing a blank. Beretta M9 because uh, they're almost identical. Uh, so remember, if you have a gun that's like maybe something that's not necessarily on their website, but you know, perfect example is my Canic TP9. Uh, a Walther P99 holster will that gun will fit that holster. They're kind of it's kind of a clone of a Walther. So you know you can find something that's going to be kind of uh, that'll fit. You know if your gun's based on uh, another model. So just kind of keep that in mind. If I can help you in any way, as always, guys, let me know. Drop me a comment. Drop me an email. Again, craft. Thank you so much for your generosity and working with me. Uh, I love the product, and I, I'm really enjoying all the all the holsters, and I'm uh, enjoying getting to know your product more in your company. So thank you so much. Uh, as always, guys, happy holidays. We're getting close to Christmas. It might be past Christmas by the time you watch this video. Uh, but anyway, happy holidays, and uh, I wish all of you the very best in 2022. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, guys.